Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We are here um, after taking on Mira and, you know, going through that cave system. Um, now what we want to do is actually continue through the mountain um, into the next little area, uh, which will be Hearth Home City. Um, of course, I don't think we'll make it to Hearth Home City this episode. Go ahead and... Oh, okay, never mind. We're going to be stopped right here. Um, I'm ready to get to the next city here. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm wondering if Dawn's going to battle us. And yeah, she's going to battle us. She's going to battle us. So, hopefully, hopefully we can handle ourselves. She has a pile of swine. Must be nice. Wait, doesn't it evolve around level 30 something? I have to switch. And, yeah. I'm gonna go Marsh Tomp. Marsh Tomp should be able to handle this thing. Be a takedown. Ooh. We just go ahead and water gun. We will outspeed. Hopefully, we can take it out with one hit because. Uh. Even close. Oh, jeez. Um, go ahead and... Can I switch? Does it even matter? Oh. I did a little bit more that time. Uh, let's go ahead and send out Monferno, I think. <clears throat> all right, I don't care about that Hyper Potion. I can bring it probably all the way back down, if not take it out with one hit with this Flamethrower. <clears throat> so hopefully we can do that. It's a two-hit KO. All right, so we will take out, take out the Shpergia here. Grottle. Oh. I'm just going to flamethrower. So we'll go ahead and just flamethrower. Nice. Nice. Okay. So maybe, maybe this isn't going to be as bad as I thought. We have a lot pony here. Um, we'll go ahead and flamethrower or just low kick. Um, I'd rather have a stronger fighting technique, but I'll low kick. Oh, we have fake out. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, jeez. Dizzy punch. Low kick. Let's go ahead and mock punch, I think. What? You've got quick attack! Never mind, we won't mock punch this thing. We'll go ahead and send out Lucio. So we can intimidate the rabbit, and we'll just go ahead and go for a thunder fang. I think. I'm gonna go for a jump kick. Okay, that actually does quite a bit of damage right there. Wow! Oh my gosh, that's actually huge for us. Um, go ahead and switch into something so I can. Take this thing out. We'll go out into Ivy Shore, I think. I think that's what I'd like to do. <clears throat> yeah, see, it has quick attack, so I wasn't going to risk that. Take out the Lopunny. Oh. 
the fable. I could just stay in. Oh, uh, go for a sludge. Oh, that's actually cool. That some of these moves that were added later in are put into this game, like Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, and they have their own animations, which is actually pretty cool. And we've poisoned this thing. Data Berry. Got leftovers. Oh, but it's so it's got that ability that ignores stat boost, but it doesn't have the one that ignores passive damage. So what I like to do is actually put a leaf seed on this thing. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, so a little bit of health back. Go ahead and switch so I can I think I'll go into Swine Nub maybe. I'll go ahead and go into Swine Nub, I think. <clears throat> I really need some experience on Swine Nub. I want Swine Nub to evolve into Pile of Swine soon. That's what I really, really want. I'm not going to live one moon blast. I'm not going to live at all. I'll go stunky, I think. This thing's pretty fast. That was speeding a lot of my mons. Right, we'll just slash this thing. Nice. Um, so <clears throat> we hope I think we should take it out here with the poison and the leech seed. Alright, we get some experience. Ivysaur is twenty six, so fully catching up. Sweet scent. Um I don't need sweet set. I actually like Ivysaur's move set. I'd like to get some stronger moves though, like I got zero what? I got zero dollars for that? Don you are oh. We got the versus seeker at least. We got the versus seeker, uh, uh I'll take that. Go ahead and heal up. She's she did a number on our team. All right. Alright, so let's double check our team, make sure I've got something up front that I'd like up front. Um, I would like Swine Up the experience, but right now we'll go ahead and lead with Ivy Shore. Ivy Shore's slowly falling behind, we can't let that happen. Um, I think the next gem, Stunky's going to be the best for us. Let's see what Pokemon are actually here. Is it the same as the other area? Uh, we have a Lunatone here. Um, I really don't want to face it with Ivysaur, because it could just easily Psychic me. We'll just run away from it. Oh, jeez. There's that Cyrus guy. He's just going on about a newly created world. Alright, I guess I'll scooch out of the way. That guy is seriously unstable. There's gotta be an item right there, right? There's just a random rock. Alright, bronze are. Yeah, there's a bunch of psychic types in here, it looks like. <clears throat> 
Wish I had repels. That's what I should have got. Um. I go up and yeah. I want to actually see if there's something of interest up here, and there isn't. Really isn't it? Okay. Unless there's a hidden item up there, I don't feel like going through that trouble. All right, we'll go ahead and battle this guy here. Looks like we've got a lot of training to do, so let's go ahead and start our training. The sledge. Got a poison, that's all right, that's all right. Revenge, ouch. I think we should take that though because you know we resist fighting. Holy smokes. That, that, okay, that did too much damage. I've got to go into Luxio for that Intimidate. And I don't want. Don't want Ivysaur to faint because that just basically means we're not going to get all that experience I'm wanting. Have you sort of got some experience at least? We got Swords Dance. So Swords Dance is actually a very good move. Um, do I have a Mon that can use Swords Dance? That Swords Dance. What is she? Uh, Monferno. Ivy sure. Um, and honestly, I'm using both of those as special attackers, so, um, I don't really want to do that. Let's go ahead and use up a Super Potion on our Ivy Show. Fortunately, Luxio won't be joining us for a while, but it's just because it's already leveled up quite a bit, so, um, I just want to continue on. Hopefully, we can get to the next city in this episode. So that's what I really want to do. Alright, Hippopotas. Hippopot. Let's see if I can pronounce that. Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Okay. Oh. Easier than I thought it was. Um. What's Magical Leaf? Magical Leaf. This thing's probably pretty bulky. I know Hippowdon is a bulky monster. Not as bad as I thought it would be. So we're going to see a dig. Should take a dig, right? Because, I mean... Yeah, we take that very well. Holy smokes, we did pretty well with that one. Just go ahead and go for another leaf. And that's what we'll do. Another leaf. We'll take out the Hippopotas. See a Bronzor. Um, I want Stunky to get some experience too. I don't want Stunky to fall behind, so let's go ahead and do that too. Stunky's probably going to be my go to in the next gym. Nice slash. Alright, so, should be able to take it out with the next hit, even with that iron defense. Um, get some nice experience. Let's 
Chuckle. Um, I gotta go into a water type, I think. Chuckle could be kind of a threat. Depending on what... Because, you know, I'm I'm expecting these mons to have crazy sets, and Shuckle can actually be threatening depending on the set. So let's go ahead and water gun it. You see how little that does? It's a very, very bulky Pokemon. Go ahead and just Mud Bomb it, I think. It'll reduce its accuracy, likely. We need to do that again. We need to continually do that until accuracy is lowered. And Storm's still raging. So this is clearly the older battle, like, weather system where... Got rest? Are you kidding me? I, mean, I want to lower its accuracy. That's what I need to do, and then I could switch into something that might be able to handle it a little bit better. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's going to be kind of a difficult mod to break through, just because... Okay, so I think I'm going to rock slide now. Maybe try to fish for flinches. I don't want this thing resting on me. Okay, come on. What are we missing? What's happening here? I got the accuracy drop, and we can't even touch this thing. Am I wrong in thinking that Mud... Because I, I think Mud Bomb is the move that we've been going for to lower accuracy. Why is it not doing anything now? There we go. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just take one accuracy drop. Can we get a flinch? Nice. That's actually huge. Go again. Maybe get a flinch. Prevent that thing from resting. Chuckle. Chuckle is such a bulky Pokemon, and I'm glad we finally got rid of that thing. Ocean here. On the strong. Go ahead and continue on, I guess. Um, hopefully, this guy doesn't have a shuckle. Marowak here. There we go. Okay, so we see this thing trying to become a threat right off the bat. Let's not let it do that. Let's not let it do that at all. Good. Look at Ivysaur catching back up with the rest of the team. Nice item there. Um, go ahead and battle this guy. I want the item. That'd be a good item. Call me the Echo Man. Yahoo! 
Here comes a Graveler. Um, this should be pretty easy, actually, because... Yeah, Graveler does not want to take a special type grass move at all. Alright, nice. We'll grab this right here. Boom. Ether. So, how many more trainers there are? Almost already there. I'd like to heal up first before battling these people down here. Well, I guess I'll battle this person right here. But I I'd like to heal up. We're almost there. Who is this guy? He I don't think I've seen him before. Or a trainer of this class. Artists. Was there artists in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum? Probably was. Cause, yeah. I could see Smeargle being like... Yeah, there's pro there probably is. Let's sleep powder. <laughs> Sport my grass type. Go ahead, go into Monferno. I'm going to kick this thing. I'm going to kick this Smeargle. I do not want to see Smeargles ever again. Let's just low kick it. There we go. That crit, that's nice. I bet I bet he's got a whole team of smearables. Yep. Alright. Monferno well, should be able to handle all of these. does Monferno evolve? I think we should be getting close to it. Let's go heal up first and then we'll battle these last few people. Alright. Oh, you're going to heal my mons? Oh, so this is actually Aaron, the bug type. Elite 4 member. Wait, I, did, I, I was hitting B. Alright, so we're going to battle this guy here. He is the Elite Four member um, that specializes in bug types. And... Whew. I think I'm underleveled. I don't know if I can beat this guy. This thing... I can't do anything with it with Ivysaur anyway. Yeah, Sludge is my best top. Look how little that does. Got leftovers. Does everything in this town have leftovers? So I guess, well, I guess Ivysaur is done training for right now, because can't do anything about it. Let's send in, we're healing up that damage. Oh, we gotta, we gotta send in the Ferno. We need to. It's our only hope, really, because we just destroy this with a flamethrower. Hopefully it doesn't have something like a flying type move. I feel like if it did, it would have went for it. Did it live? It lived! It lived that! What? It should go down to the next turn of 
I don't know what's got leftovers. This might actually heal itself up enough to live uh, that leech seed. Um, well, I mean, we'll see. Oh, it won't. All right, nice. Fortunately, we've been toxic poison, and Inferno's really are our best option against this guy. I stay in and burn the beautifly. That's my only option. If I need to, I can always switch into something um, just to heal up Monferno. So I feel like, oh my gosh, does everything here live? Oh, it's got a focus sash. That's why it lived. I guess we're not going to be healing up our Monferno. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeezy. I'll go Swineb. Uh, we've got... we got Ice Shard. Well. <laughs> well, well, well. Well. I don't have a revive, do I? No, I don't. Uh, we're losing this one. Uh, yeah, energy ball. Of course we're gonna lose this one. <sighs> Next episode, we'll take on this... This guy that's just bugging us here. Gosh. What was he expecting us to do? He's he's over-leveled compared to us. I, I was trying to get through here to heal, and he wanted to challenge me. He won't let me say no. Well, maybe I could have said no. But, jeez, look at this guy. He's demolishing my team with Beautifly. Just Night Slash. It looks like we're gonna have to go through that cave right there to get back here. Hopefully this isn't a battle that forces you to, you know, black out. Hopefully this is just like, you know, a, a battle that if you lose, it's okay. Not the end of the world. Holy crap, you didn't even have to go Energy Ball. Oh, that was fun. Don't sweat. Oh, so it, it doesn't it doesn't negatively affect you. We don't have to do all that. Thank you. But we do have to train up our mons because it looks like we're going to be facing level 30s. And our mons are healed, right? Let's battle th this lady out here first. Oh, come on. Go out the door. Go out the door. It's like playing X and Y again. Um... What is this building, real quick? This is the Berry Master. Um, honestly, we'll, we'll end this episode here. Um, it is getting kind of long, and I usually like to keep it around 20 minutes now. But it's almost 30, so um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.